Hey there, everybody. Before I get into uh, what will be the hero tracker for Fire Emblem Heroes, uh, I just wanted to say thank you uh, to everybody for um, just the understanding and uh, the support uh, while I was away. I did pretty much legitimately just shut off all of my socials for the last couple days. Uh, and I had some some posts scheduled uh, to go out uh, so that I could just kind of focus, you know, um, and be there for Jenna and, and all that. So uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I am kind of slowly returning, just on a personal note. Um, so uh, there will be a couple of videos coming out today uh, and then a live stream on Saturday, probably. Um, and then that will... Uh, I, I will probably fall into a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth hole uh, for, <laughs> for a while. Uh, but I will still be making videos throughout uh, for the next week or so. And, and uh, you know, probably back to full capacity at that point. So uh, just thank you again. Um, and I, I, I will probably do... Um, I want to kind of do a Remembering Josie video at some point. Um, just to kind of... Even even if I don't make it public, just uh, for for Jenna and I to have, uh, where we can kind of remember her and stuff like that. So, um, that said, there's no good way to transition, right? So you just kind of got to do a hard stop and then move forward. Um, let's talk about this, the Hero Tracker. Uh, there is some zany stuff coming up <laughs> and you can see down in the upcoming like dude what happened to red bro <laughs> i thought that used to be a dominant five star pool that's crazy uh yeah selena selena solo as you know uh we we did not have an emblem this time around thank goodness uh i was correct in that we did get a new colorless legendary and he uh he he does happen to have an inheritable dragon special which is pretty good so <laughs> I'm living my best life uh, in terms of Fire Emblem Heroes, <laughs> I think. Uh, speaking of that, check that out. How's that? How's that taste? <laughs> Getting remixed next month. Hell yeah. Uh, as well as a form of Sothis. I think. I think that's probably what's going to happen. Um, you know... There's not a whole lot to say for remixes. Like we're that's we're gonna get a new batch. Um, I don't think we've had the official announcement yet. Maybe we have. Um, but the next set is gonna come here, and then we'll also get another set in August. Should be two at a time, as as we've been getting. You know, nothing like that really changes. I don't think. Uh, as far as the legendary and mythic painters go, the limited runs here. Uh, Arvel, back in colorless, right? Uh, Camilla, Sather, back in green. Uh, some good stuff in red. Embla, Alencia. Violet is here in blue. That's tight. Uh, I don't necessarily know who the new Mythic would be in this capacity. I assume it would be green. I assume it would be green. Um, but it might not be and also i'm seeing alincia here so ken may if you're seeing this uh and you still want me to uh be there for you emotionally <laughs> as you summon for legendary alincia again i think unless you plus 10 already and i'm just i'm having a foggy brain moment uh my offer still stands so this is what march is going to look like nothing really changed here uh the most exciting thing i think to be happening in March is basically the remix, but I am incredibly biased. <laughs> I'll be forthcoming about that. I'm incredibly biased about it. Uh, but other than that, there's not like a whole lot to really chug down. Uh, there's April. Shouldn't be a remix plan, right? Uh, but we do have a couple notables coming back in red. Uh, Yuri's coming back, right? Yuri's, I think, is still pretty goaded. I'm not 100%. Veil. Veil vale is back in blue. Poggers. Uh, Nertha's also back in blue. Green, don't even bother. <laughs> just quite literally just wait for all the remixes at this point. Everything in green, just wait for a remix. 
it's not worth your time otherwise. I, I will say though, I do love Thor. Uh, Gale Force Thor is still with Dive Bomb is, is still so fun to use. Uh, it, when when it works, <laughs> specifically speaking, when that combination works. Um, and then she who shall not be named, <laughs> also known as Guinevere, uh, in Cullis. So there's some things happening there. Uh, the actual changes start to begin in May. So this is when we had characters like uh, Kevisir coming back. This is where we have Emblem Marth coming back. This is where we have Golvig coming back, who, you know, was, was current. Um, this is also a very interesting month, again, for me personally, <laughs> because we had a slight change in the notes. Uh, where Gunthra is now coming back in May. Which also happens to be the month where we should be getting a Heroes-themed Hall of Forms. So is this sudden Gunthra change indicative that she could be Hall of Forms? Is it Fjorm? Is it Hreed? Is it all of them? I don't know. I just want more Gunther in my life. That's all. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. Um, so now, you know, there's, you know, a couple options uh, for that. If uh, if you're feeling so inclined. Uh, and additionally, I think we might be seeing uh, an Uller remix. We might also be seeing uh, a, a Legendary Sigurd remix which could be kind of cool and outside of that i mean the the legendary banner itself is is pretty pretty nice red's looking really really good uh Kellis is a little bit hit or miss frankly and there might be some change-ups happening um when the new remix pools kind of start to get announced um but i think for right now this is this is pretty much where we sit some of these are going to be uh, on their, their one of, if not their last legendary mythic appearances, uh, and then it may just show up in the remix pool again, maybe another run, uh, until that happens. But, you know, as you start to see some of these borderline options, uh, outside of the ones that are basically just going to be remixed at this point, uh, just remember that it might be worth, you know, like, like this, <laughs> Might be worth just waiting until they get their, their remix pools, you know? Um, so that's May. I think a lot of people are probably very excited about, about that. And this might be where they come back and they throw in another Emblem character. Um, if not sooner. But, you know, they, they could just... They could call it an Emblem banner. I don't know. We'll have to see. Obviously, they didn't call it an Emblem banner when Marth debuted. Uh, because it was a big reveal. <laughs> and they certainly weren't going to shadow drop that on a calendar. Like, you know, weeks before it actually happened. <laughs> so, uh, they clearly just called it a mythic banner, uh, featuring Lumera that we, you know, later found out also had Marth on it. So, uh, they may be separate entities. We don't know, but we'll find out, uh, at some point, I'm sure. Uh, June is here. Uh, not a whole lot happened in June. Other than Gato is coming back, uh, this is also where Fomortis is showing up again uh, after his Hero Fest stuff passes. The most exciting thing here is definitely this combo, uh, but for me personally, it's 100% Lumera. And this is the reason why, outside the characters I really, 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 really love, uh, at least in the past, I would not try the plus 10 immediately on Legendary Mythic Banner because... What's going to typically happen is when they have their first rerun like Lumera here, and admittedly June is up here, it's it's far out, right? So it's it's you got to be patient. <laughs> uh, but she is getting a rerun, and more than likely the new Legend Mythic Emblem whoever uh, shows up in June will be color sharing alongside her. So it's more beneficial to roll for the new Mythic Legendary Emblem that you want on their second rerun. Because they're likely going to be sharing alongside something new, rather than something you may have already gotten in the past, because the debut is that character. Does that make sense? So I'm particularly invested in June here. Uh, June is a very high high stakes month uh, for me, so <laughs> I want more Lumeras. Y'all know 
I I did several dumb moves and spent like 50 more orbs. Uh, but I did end up getting like two or three more Lumeris. I don't remember the exact number. I was just very excited that it happened. <laughs> uh, but I did do last minute dummy pulls and it, it paid off and I shouldn't have done that, but I did it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to doing actual polls where maybe, you know, I get more Lumeria and something else that's new. Uh, July is here. Uh, and again, uh, this, this is where Alir is showing up again. So he's, uh, he's about five months out. Uh, that is, that is a trek. <laughs> that's a trek, let me tell you. Um, but this is where he is popping up again. And then we have Deirdre, Sita, and Blue. Uh, this is, or should be, uh, another remix month. Uh, the the last before, or second to last before, we get uh, the next batch, which is gonna, you know, be announced in August. Um, the thing that's exciting here, and it it does it does affect the Hero Tracker moving forward uh, as a whole for this month. This is the time where the Hall of Forms could either cycle back to Marth games, right? Or... Maybe they throw an Engage? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but at some point, right, beyond the last ones, there could potentially be an Engage... Hall of Forms. And what that means, uh, which we'll move into here, if there is, then we could potentially be looking at a legendary Marth Forma in August. Okay? So just keep that in the back of your mind. Just let that simmer for a bit. Uh, blue, I mean, fine. You know, prayer's coming back. Squirrel Girl, also here. Uh, there's not a whole lot to fill out here. But so far, the options, I mean, they look pretty good. Robin, Squirrel, Freyer, all pretty solid choices, you know. Um, if there is no Engage Hall of Forms, then what we're actually going to be looking at, I believe, would be a Forma Seliph. Which could also be pretty god tier. It all just kind of depends, right? Uh, so that is kind of the trajectory that we would be on if there was no Engage Hall of Forms. I think there is a slim chance that there might be an Engage Hall of Forms. Um, but you can see Haythers coming back here uh, again. You know, nothing that we haven't seen past is a lot hasn't changed. Other than Gunther is no longer in September. And then uh, November, I, I put a fade on there for us as well. Because previously, before I had thought about the potential Engage Hall of Forms, uh, that put these two as definite form of potential. Um, so again, if there is no Engage Hall of Forms, then these two would be potential candidates uh, for that cycle. If there is, it would be thrown off a little bit. Um, but then again... We had Legendary Ike, who is Radiant Dawn, show up in a Path of Radiance Hall of Forms. <laughs> so, maybe it doesn't really matter. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, maybe, maybe we have Binding Legendaries show up uh, in Blazing Hall of Forms or vice versa. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it does. Yeah. Who the heck knows? Uh, but that is that. And then additionally, additionally, uh, we <laughs> we have one straggler month in the form of January. Which is Lynn. Which I guess technically, uh, if there is an engage Hall of Forms, could potentially make her a Forma also, but she's I think she's already been a Forma. So I don't think that's Super relevant? I don't know. We're gonna... I'm gonna keep the buck. I'm revamping the Hero Tracker to be a little more all-inclusive. Uh, and frankly, there have been so many changes now that do not just accommodate <laughs> two monthly hero types. Uh, imagine. 
Uh, so I'm not putting a lot of stock in this, but I hope that you found it helpful regardless. Um, obviously, March here is what you want to look forward to the most. Uh, probably not a red, but could be a red. Um, and likewise, green could be green. Um, but either way, I would definitely bank on uh, Rearm Ginny showing up in Colorless alongside Arvel. Uh, that, I think, is is pretty much a guaranteed. Um, so that's probably what you want to look forward to next month. Uh, obviously, some other stuff like Bunny Banners. That's going to be happening in March. Uh, and no, Joel, there will be no Spring Rhea. That's not something that's going to happen. Do not even leave a comment in the video. I... <laughs> Now, if he doesn't, I'm going to feel like an idiot. But the point is, <laughs> it's not going to happen. I'm untouchable. 2024 is the year of the dragon and also me. All year round. Uh, and we're going to start by getting a ton of legendary Alleers <laughs> to give to all of my Saros and Reyes. Uh, probably happening Saturday. So uh, be sure to stop by then if you can. But that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it helped. If it did, leave a like. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.